Let's talk about nullable types. I think these are added in C sharp 2.0, if my memory serves me correctly. I want to make a function. All right, it will return an int, and I will say get balance from taxman. Okay, and um, and generally when dealing with money, we would we would use the decimal type instead of an int, but. And with, with taxes, at least when I pay my taxes, they don't care about the cents. They only care about the dollars. You know, you just round to the nearest dollar as long as it is in the government's favor kind of thing. So, well, let's use ints just to keep the number really where it's at. And let's say tax season has just begun. All right, so I want to say, hey, get the talent balance from the tax man. And the algorithm in here could be anything, but obviously, like most of my examples, these are contrived. And let's just say the tax man doesn't know the balance quite yet. You know, it's he's still working. There's a lot of people trying to get the returns, blah, 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 blah. And and I say, hey, what's my balance? What's my balance? And, and so this function is supposed to return what my balance is. Okay, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know yet. He will, but he doesn't know. So in the meantime, he needs to return something. Okay, well, what should he return? What 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 would we have, what should we return that would indicate that, that he doesn't know or he's not ready? Well, you know, I, a sensible value would be negative one, would it not? Return negative one. So then here I can say, int my return gets. Oh, I need to make this static, static. I say get the balance from the tax man. And then if I F10, you know, and run this F11. Oh, we don't need the registers here. Uh, F11, F11, F11. Well, my return is now negative one. Well, to me. Out here in this calling context, negative one means, oh, I guess I'm not getting a return. In fact, I actually owe the government one dollar. I better send my dollar in. When that's not what it really means. It means, hey, um, I don't really know. That's, that's a, uh, so there's a, I don't know, ambiguity here. Okay, the tax man's trying to tell me, I don't know. But negative one's actually a legitimate dollar value that I could possibly owe the IRS. So how do we... How do we overcome this? What's the? How do we do that? Well, we need a way to say, I don't know. All right. Now, if this was a string, you know, say, say, let's do a string. Okay, string. You know, get balance from the tax man, and then he could return null. All right. If if he actually knew my balance, though, he could say, well, return. Uh, you know, you're gonna get a five hundred and thirty-two dollar refund. But now I'm putting numbers and strings and. Well, that's kind of ugly, isn't it? Uh, that's, the numbers should be ints, right? Or unsigned ints or something. And, but but changing the string, now at least he can say null, return null. And then I can say string my return and F10, F11, F11, F11. Oh, return null. We don't really know quite yet. I'm still working on it, Jamie. F11, F11. And my return, oh, okay, well, I better come back and ask later. All right, so this value null is quite handy with reference types. We can say, hey, I don't know. All right, but once I say int on there, you know, well, I can't uh, shift F5 to stop the debugger. I can't return null because it's like, hey, uh, null is something I assign to references, not to value types. Value types store the actual object. All right, they're not references. So how am I? Uh, what do I do? Well, C sharp, I believe, 2.0 added this concept of nullable types which is pretty straightforward. I can just put a question mark here. And of course, let's put a question mark down here. And the question mark means, hey, um, you can have all the values in the range of an int, or I can, I can return null now. Okay, do you like that question mark? I like the question mark, it kind of means, I don't know. It's that, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, and that's what, that's, Generally, with data, that's what null means. Is yeah, you could owe five hundred and fifty-two dollars, or the IRS could owe you one thousand dollars. You know, either way. But but then I get this presence of null, and I can say, hey, I don't know yet. I'm still working on it, Jamie. Come back later. So that's the whole concept of the nullable type. Why we have nullable types? Why they're important? Blah 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 blah. As always, next future videos, I'm going to dissect this and show you how this actually works.